brain fog, neurological symptoms at large, anxiety, um, even bloodshot eyes. And one of the things I found interesting about your TFIM presentation was really how you unpacked how your microvasculature can be damaged. And in part, what these bugs can do is make your blood more viscous. And so you can't get mm -hmm. circulation to the, the eyes, the brain, the gut. I even found one study that found about 50% of people with Lyme had either low libido or erectile dysfunction, thinking about another area where circulation is really important. So this is something that um, I, I think is interesting and important that we, we uh, talk about. Part of these problems might ultimately be due to circulation and how these bugs can throw off things like your, your heparin levels and lower those. I, I agree. I think when, um, you know, like if you've ever looked at some of Bob Moziani, Moziani's work, um, he has uh, a lady that works with him who's got some beautiful electron microscopy photographs of mm. some of the microvascular biofilms from these organisms, specifically Bartonella. And if you could imagine that being present in a large part of the circulation, I mean, we, we kind of focus in the US, I think, on the microvascular circulation with regard to cardiac health. Um, mm. There's a lot more information on that particular organ than, say, you know, your, and there's some on the kidney, but, um, you know, the brain and the heart seem to be the, the two big areas that we focus on the most because probably right. because that's where most of the healthcare dollars are consumed. But I think a lot of patients who develop dementia or heart disease probably have a chronic infection that's um, creating chronic inflammation on the microvascular level. And it's a slow, chronic, steady process. It doesn't just suddenly happen one day that someone has, you know, a plaque rupture, I don't think. But right. um, that's, you know, that's not necessarily made it to the mainstream medical mindset just yet. Sure. sure. Another symptom I think is important to put out there is joint pain and muscle pain. In fact, I heard someone describe this or, or recommend clinicians be a little more attentive when someone says they have, let's say, low back pain. And it's possible that low back pain or maybe chronic shin pain may not truly be musculoskeletal in etiology, but rather because some of these organisms hang out in the joints, hang out in the bone marrow. You can be the person who's always needing therapy. Uh, you know, I, I do PT and then I do OT and then I do knees over toes. And, you know, you never kind of feel like you, you get a real grasp on the pain. And it might be due to infections here also. I agree. So my husband is a, a myofascial pain therapist. So he sees people and, you know, for lack of a better way of describing it, he he finds some of those areas where there's constriction or uh, a lack of blood flow and works. He has several different techniques he's learned. Um, so we, we refer patients back and forth to each other. But I've had some patients that I had a hard time improving their pain and then I'll have him see them. And it's interesting. He has very good hands and a very good feel for, um, you know, each person's pain. And it's he he notices, he'll say to me, I think this patient has an infection and, and tell them to come downstairs because he almost can palpate a different type of Interesting. Uh, myofascial, you know, it's, I think it's yeah. subtle. I don't necessarily perceive it. Um, I'm pretty good at finding trigger points, but I don't perceive, he, he describes it almost like a doughy texture. Um, and of course, what makes people come in in the first place is their knee hurts or their back hurts or their shoulder hurts. And uh, he doesn't do that with everyone. If it's someone that, you know, maybe they've just been playing too much pickleball, he'll just work on their arm, you know, right. and help their arm. But if they have migratory pain or like recurring pain that gets better and comes back, um, yeah. a lot of times we'll do the workup and we find that there is something there else there that's causing the pain too. 